All right, so I'm going to talk about Sand Trap and how you should effectively be using Sand Trap in the neutral. Now, Sand Trap is regarded as one of the best projectiles in the game, mainly because it's a low hidden projectile. It hits low. So, because it hits low, walking around the screen against Gears can be kind of frustrating because at any time he can just, you know, check you with the Sand Trap. All right. But. You know, Sand Trap has its faults just like any other projectile, okay? You know, it's it has 32 frames recovery on width. That's the main thing, okay? You know, he's away 32 frames on width before he can block again. So he's very vulnerable right here, okay? Alright, so with that being said, the most dangerous place you can throw a, a Sand Trap is from jump distance, which is around right here, which is match start. Around this distance right here is about the most dangerous place you can throw a sand trap. Because you can get jumped in on. Okay? And I'm going to show you that right now. Alright? You can get jumped in on for free. Alright? So, around the safest, around the safest distance, around right here. I mean, it's not totally safe, but where you really want to be throwing your sand traps is around just outside of jump range, like around here. About the range where you can throw a um, a far sand trap. You see far sand trap whiffs right there. So around right here, where you can throw a, a far sand trap is where you want to, you know, throw most of your sand traps in the neutral. Okay, either from right here. Or from full screen all right now you won't be totally safe there are other things that can that can um you know punish 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 him from uh throwing it but ideally you, you're safer around here just outside of jump range you won't get jumped in on all right so let's go ahead and save our position to right here All right, so you're at safe um, sand trap distance, right? So these are your options. So if your opponent is jumping in on you, you know, you're safe. Just, you know, letting you know. All right, so they can't jump in on you. All right. You can eliminate that. You can just check them. Just check them. You know. If they're trying to move and walk back, you know. You know, you don't have to worry about the jump in. And if they try to throw a projectile, you know, you can, you know, punish them for that. Anti-zoning, you know, and zone them out. All right. And I say they just walking back and throw projectiles. You can check them. All right. So you want to do your zoning and anti-zoning game from around this distance. Okay, those are your options. All right. But you have another option as well. And that is anti-airing. Okay, you need to get in the habit of anti-airing with your sand trap. All right. You can use sand trap as an anti-air. Just get a feel for it. All right. Let's say they're jumping and you're walking back. You can use regular distance sand trap as an anti-air. All right. And they're constantly just jumping in on you. And you got to read on it. Just use your sand trap as an anti-air. Okay. This works if you're outside of um, stand jab range. You know, you can get them, but you can't get anything off that. All right. So it's better that you use this as a sand trap so you can, you know, get some oaky at least. Okay. So those are your options from safe sand trap distance, all right? But let's go back to from the, oh. but from this distance right here, you also have options. So let's say like your opponent is shimmying you. 
a lot of people, a lot of players, you know, brighter players will try to shimmy you, you know, try to, you know, bait out a whiff punish. Sand Trap is great against people trying to shimmy you, you know. You know. From this distance and you, you get a read on them and you're picking up that, let's say you're picking up that backward movement. You know, pick it up. You know, and punish them for moving back. All right. Keep in mind that it is that is risky because at any point they can just jump in on you. All right. So always keep that in mind when you're throwing a sand trap from this distance. All right. That you're taking a risk. So don't be on don't be on tilt if you get jumped in on from dudes in a sand trap. Every once in a while you're gonna get punished for it. But if you pick this up, you know it's you know it could be worth it to just you know use a sand trap against them trying to shimmy you. All right. And of course, if they throw a projectile from here, you know, that's free punish, all right? So, um, I hope this information helped anyone out um, in, in regards to your sand trap game. It's very dangerous to just throw sand traps just, you know, without a game plan. I hope this little bit of information helped you guys out, and I'll see you guys on the next one.